Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara and today I'm going to be doing a video on good beginner fantasy. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a series of books to read that are good for beginners, maybe good for intermediates and good for hardcore fans of different genres. Fantasy is the most obvious one because that's what I read the most of at the moment. But I thought I'd put together a collection of books that I think are a good way to get into fantasy if you are not necessarily a big reader of fantasy or you, you haven't read any and you want to get into it or even if you're a seasoned veteran of fantasy and maybe you want to go over some of the key books series authors in fantasy right now so without further ado i'm going to jump in there's about eight suggestions i think this is definitely not going to be the only video that i do like this there's i'm going to be doing a grim dark for beginners video next i don't know when it will come out but that will be the next one that will come out and then there'll be some other ones after that probably a sci-fi one as well so without further ado, let's jump in. There are These are in no particular order. These are all completed and there are some standalones here as well. So there's a little bit of everything for everyone. And I've also specifically picked like different types of fantasy as well. You'll get where I'm going with this as I start the list. So first on the list is The Faithful and the Fallen by John Gwynn. I think The Faithful and the Fallen is a, a good take on classic epic fantasy. You know, you have the hero, you have the villain, there's some twists and turns, you have a really great surrounding cast of characters. It's very plot driven and there's quite a lot of character development as well. There's a really broad world that you get really the entire scope of. There's a lot of factions and political intrigue and there's just a lot happening. There's four books, it's a quartet. John Gwynn has written another trilogy set, I think a couple of hundred years after that and then he's written another adult fantasy series that I think only two books are out of the three. But this is a really solid quartet for somebody who wants to kind of sample everything that exists in fantasy in one way or another, like all the kind of typical classic tropes, but doesn't really know where to begin. And I think this is a really solid series to start with. The second trilogy that I have on my list, I put on this list because the magic system is out of this world. Everybody who has read this trilogy will always mention the magic system and that is Mistborn Era 1 by Brandon Sarnison. This was one of the series to get me back into fantasy. This and the First Lord trilogy really got me back into my love of fantasy a couple of years back and there is just a really rich magic system that I love. It's super unique. It's basically like people taking drugs but the drugs are metals and those metals give them different powers <laughs> and it's really fun like it's really fun there's lots of political intrigue there's lots of character development it's set in a world where the bad guy has already won so the stakes are like quite low in a way because the bad guy has already won so there's nothing really to lose but then the stakes get higher as the books go on like as each book ends the stakes are like piling on top of one another you don't think the stakes can get any higher but yet they somehow manage to so there you go I really enjoy Brandon Sutter's writing I think he's a very seasoned plot driven writer and I think if you're looking for something to get really really lost in and to really develop a kinship with some of the characters you will love this trilogy so definitely Mistborn Era 1 by Brandon Sanderson the next one in this trilogy I picked because it has like a Middle Eastern angle to it I really am trying to find more Middle Eastern and African fantasy and Asian fantasy, like basically anything that's non-Western because I read predominantly a lot of Western fantasy and I love it. There's a reason why I love it. There's many reasons why I love it, but I wanna try out more stuff. I wanna try out different stuff with different types of people and different cultures, different languages, etc., different lore and history. And the David Bad trilogy by S.A. Chakraborty is phenomenal. Like I read this trilogy last year, around this time last year actually, the first book is good, the second book is perfection, and the third book is just like a really good ending to the tr entire trilogy. And I just cannot wait for what this woman writes next because they, those, these books are just, they take you out of your world. The world building is some of the best world building that I've seen. The magic is interesting, the characters are interesting. There's one character in that trilogy, Ali. Oh, Ali. I just, I love him. I just love him. He's one of my like top 10 favorite fantasy characters and he's, I put him in my list last year and if I were to do that list later on this year, which I probably will, pretty sure he's still going to be quite high. That's how much I like him. So it's a wonderful, rich world set in a world that is probably unfamiliar to a lot of my viewers, at least. Most of my viewers are based in the US and the UK and throughout Europe. So 
probably a lot of you don't really read much beyond what you know and that's totally understandable i am the same but if you want something different set in a different world set with different people that maybe look different to you and do things differently to you the dave of astrology is the one to go to wonderful the next series that i picked was for the romance angle because I, you know, I'm trying to kind of cover different subgenres, and that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. I picked up Throne of Glass two years ago, I think, two, two and a half years ago. I have to say it was a wild ride. There's like seven or eight books, and I read them in the space of two weeks. That's how hooked I was, and I loved it. I was in lockdown. I was taking a pause from my gaming. I just wanted to read loads of books, and like, I binged that series insanely quickly even by my own standards i i binged that series really quickly and i loved it at the time i really want to do a reread of it actually to see if i will enjoy it as much as i do now i've increasingly been getting frustrated with Sarah j mass's recent releases i have not been liking them but that series there's like, like i said there's like seven eight books i loved them at the time and i i definitely want to reread it because i think i would probably enjoy it again there's probably going to be some gripes because i think my reading taste has definitely changed but there were some things that I loved about it, and there were some characters that I really enjoyed in it. So if you're looking for a fantasy romance that's kind of like new adult, then Throne of Glass is for you. The next one I picked is beginner kind of grimdark and that is obviously the first law trilogy by joe abercrombie as we all know joe abercrombie is my favorite author and i will like i said at the beginning i will be doing a video purely on grimdark on beginner grimdark and this series do i really need to say anything beyond the fact that you need to go and read it it's just wonderful the characters are amazing the plot is interesting and there is a lot of political intrigue it's very it's quite dark but there's amazing like dark sarcastic humor that undercuts all of that and so if you're looking for something that has maybe got a bit of an edge to it then the first law trilogy is for you i have done like a series review on this and i will link the video where i basically just gush about the first law trilogy for about 20 minutes so go watch that if you're interested the next one i picked was because it has an urban fantasy vibe to it and that is the vicious duology by ve schwab I really enjoy this duology. I've not really read much V.E. Schwab, but I read this duology, I binged it, I think over a weekend. It gave me X-Men vibes and you're basically following Magneto and Professor X. So if I remember correctly, it's present and past. And you are getting both of these different characters' perspectives and it's just really great. Like it's third person narrative, but you see it from their view. And I think the character growth and the way that the plot develops is great. I think it's a really solid duology that keeps you on your toes and it's very well paced. So if you're looking for something, you know, that's maybe set in the real world, then I would definitely recommend The Vicious Duology. The next series I'm going to recommend is the City Watch series. I've only read the first book, but I know that the books are amazing. I know I'm going to love them. It's just I haven't had a chance to read more of Terry Pratchett's books. And that is, you know, the first book is Guards, Guards. I think it can be read as a standalone. And so I recommend just reading that one to see if you like it. I've actually picked up many more Terry Pratchett books just because I love that first book so much. The reason why I think this series is so good is, is that it really covers some really impactful themes, especially about class. And I think it's just such an interesting way to do it because it's a children's book. And it reads like a children's book in some ways but you know when you you get these kind of like monologues from vimes and when you really think about it through the lens of the world that we live in today like there's some pretty impactful stuff in there and it kind of makes you think twice about the the world that we live in today like i said you know it's it's obviously child friendly so you know if you maybe have children and you want to read a fancy book with your child like i definitely recommend it but if you're also an adult and you just want to read something that's maybe a little bit more light-hearted but it's still covering some really interesting philosophical themes and moral themes then you, you've you've got to pick it up the humor in these books is absolutely fantastic as well i very rarely laugh out loud in books but i laughed out loud multiple times in this book terry pratchett is british joe abercrombie is british and kj parker is british these are three these are the three authors that make me laugh repeatedly in my books so you know if you're if you've got british sarcastic humor in it i'm going to be very happy and i think if you like that humor you'll you'll enjoy any of those authors the last book that i have 
on my list is the Curse of Chalion by Lois McMaster Bujold. I finished this recently. I loved it. I think it's a really good kind of classic medieval fantasy, good versus evil, but there is a slightly darker edge to it. I just loved it. I will have a review of it coming out soon. I think it will be up before this video comes out, so I will link it down below. But it just has everything in it, but in a compact format because it's just a standalone book. Kaz has got to be one of the best characters that I've read this year. And I just think if you are looking for a world that is really rich and there's some politics and there's a little bit of romance and there's some interesting magic, curses and all the like, then you're going to really love this book. I think if you like fantasy, even like remotely, if you like historical fiction, then you will really, really love this book. It's also quite a quick read. It's about 420 pages, but it reads quite quickly because you just want to get through it. I mean, this was one of those books where I simultaneously wanted to know what happened, but I also started to read it slower because I didn't want it to end. Like I genuinely did not want it to end because I was hooked. So I kind of, you know, by the end of it, I was like, okay, I'm just going to finish it now because I, I, I need to know what happens. It feels quite nostalgic and familiar, but there's some things to it that kind of keep you on your toes and keep it a little bit different. So there we have it. Those are some of the books that I would recommend for people who are looking to get into fantasy or maybe read some more fantasy. Let me know if there are any other books that you would recommend or if you have read these books, do you agree that they are good beginner fantasy books? And I'm really excited to continue to do more in this little series that I'm going to be doing. So I'll see you in the comments, folks, and in the next video. Stay safe as always, take care, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.